back to Let's Play XCOM, Enemy Within. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and we got everything sorted out last time, I think. It sure looks like everything is sorted out, and we've got all sorts of soldiers who are experienced, and they know what they're doing, and things so far are going suspiciously well, so we'll see how long that uh, keeps up. <laughs> we've already... I've already reviewed all this stuff. We've got things building. I don't think I want to buy anything else. Uh, satellite. Nah, it won't practically speed things up once you get another satellite. And I'd like to keep that money for... God, I do the cybernetics lab, but... I want that for an uplink. Yeah, I just have to hold on till the end of the month, and then I can start building the uh, satellite uplink. So until then, we will scan for activity, because we've done missions. Skies of Russia. We'll see. 200. Excavation complete. We could fulfill that request. Have enough to buy more satellites. I don't know, I'd rather assign it based on panic. Alien materials, this will help us research new armor configurations. Xenobio is the priority, yes. Alien, we can research it, but we can't. Okay. One of the proposed applications is a lighter, stronger form of body armor. 40 days. Experimental warfare is, as I remember, the disappointing branch of the tree. Weapon fragments will give us a scope, which is of, of immediate benefit. I think we're gonna go for weapon fragments and then xenobiology. Expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Yeah, I probably should have skipped over the armor, but I saw the armor was gonna take a while. Since we don't have scientists, which I might take scientists for our next thing. We'll see how it goes. They want hang on, two nanofiber vests and they'll give us fifty-seven for it. How much does it cost to make these items? Shit. That's nice, that's reminiscent of the old sort of, the old uh, game. Wait, no, that's not how we do it. Any requests we can fulfill your nanofiber vests? Alright, the Mexican military is now better uh, equipped. To fight the bad guys. Mysterious body armor among Mexican troops. UFO skeptics now forced to face reality of alien presence on Earth. Yeah, no kidding. The genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. You can tell the enthusiasm. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefield than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. I'm sure it's going to be pretty cool. Fortunately, since we're building up a large base of experience, we can afford to spare some of these folks. To go in and get augmented. Okay, so far, hyper-reactive tools are hide advantage. Adaptive bone marrow. Wound recovery time is reduced by 66%, so it regenerates 2 
HP per turn up to the HP max. So let's rip regenerates 2 HP per turn up to the HP max without armor. Ah, so they don't. So they only regenerate their natural armor, not uh, their natural health, not their armor. That's still pretty cool, I gotta admit. Um, who do we want to use this on? Because thinking about it, honestly, I'd like to get all these people. The other thing is, how long will it take? How long will it take to do this, or will it take any time at all? If it's gonna take the time. The substance has been enormously valuable in advancing our theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have the option of incorporating alien physiology into our genetic enhancement programs. It may be asking too much of our soldiers. They will be even more capable on the battlefield. I don't know. Well, there's the ethical implications, but I mean, hey. Oh, damn it, I forgot to do the, the actual saving. Someone interrupt. A lot of interruptions lately. They know. Okay. Right, let's try it out. Now, see, the thing is, you'd think, logically speaking, this is just the better upgrade. Plus 10 to any shot after a miss. Eventually, though, snipers get so goddamn good that they just don't, that they just do not miss. They just stop missing. So, the thing is, in the short term, this would be used in any like other soldier. I'd probably pick this, but for snipers, I would actually want to pick this. An additional plus five aim and plus five to crit chance. Because I mean, you want your snipers higher than the enemy, no matter what level they're on, you know. So I think I actually do depth perception. Adaptive bone marrow, wound recovery time, so you return to XP. I mean, I'm pretty much banking on this sniper becoming an amazing hero. Uh, Six, six days. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, we'll belay that with the sniper. How much will it take just for death perception? Three days. I'm gonna have to deliberate. Because I can't spare soldiers. But on the other hand, I think it would be really handy. Now see, upgrading heavy aim after a miss. That sounds like something I could And I mean, heavies, you don't really want them out of action because they have rockets. And at the beginning of the game, that will prove very important. Uh, I don't know, that's so good, but it's actually rather expensive. I think I'm just going to go with hyperreactive pupils on this one for now. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Volunteer. These guys are volunteering for this, right? Oh, oh yeah, totally. Whatever, especially if we can spare somebody to be augmented. Augmented. Uh, assault. I think the assault would appreciate this. Cost money. Sorry for the sound effects, everybody. Are they starting to get annoying? <laughs> Just didn't even any shot at your miss. I don't know. Heavies, they're assaults. You want to get them so close they, they don't miss ever. I can't help but feel. Now you have to pick one. Uh, 
it's... Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm worried about the cost. So, right now, even though I built it early, uh, god, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not being very efficient here, and I'm just wasting time by dithering. Excellent. Just do it. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Alright, great. That also reduced our monthly income noticeably. The satellite will be done in two days, though. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Alright, let's launch to... That's the thing, we pick Argentina. And actually, the autopsies will give us new genetic uh, therapies to unlock, so... Versus Australia, let's see. Argentina gives us a scientist per month. Australia gives us an engineer per month. Uh... Satellite uplink facility is at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. I choose you, Australia. Sorry, Russia. It just wasn't in the cards for you. We are on the threshold of a new kind of warfare. Our soldiers were already humanity's best warriors. Now, as we learn from our fallen enemies, we can make their strengths our own. Hopefully. Improving soldiers' optic adjustment speed will allow them to compensate much faster when they miss shots. Sites. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. All right, now let's see. Uh, scientist for mission easy. Sergeant Sniper. Okay, not gonna lie, Sergeant Sniper sounds pretty good. Uh, also, Europe might throw a. Fi I don't know. We can't just take engineers again. Scientists again would let us research faster, which is nice. It's actually really nice. Um, easy, difficult, or moderate. I don't know. Which one is better? Panic will go up in so many countries in a residual manner. We kind of don't want Panic to go up in Asia because that's kind of our thing that we're focusing on. But we don't want to go up anywhere else either. Uh, gosh, the money's nice, but... Uh, Sergeant Sniper, I mean, come on. Squad site immediately. Yeah, let's 
let's only take one more. Dropship has arrived. We're heading into China for the next operation. Rain. Rain. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Yep. Alright, site is clear of civilians. Neutralize all hostile targets and secure the lovely, lovely mail. Go, go, go. Tactical entry. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. So basically... It's this big ass mall where most of the fighting is going to be happening. That's fine. There's some pretty good solid hard cover in here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Voy hacia ese lugar. Now let's go check it out. First room looks clear. Well, there's always those That's weird gaps in sight. Oh 
shit, cover's gone. Definitely an issue. Now shooting is not a good idea. canister in that direction so let's go ahead and start moving that way I like that the milk can be on the roof where the aliens aren't though I like that actually okay let's get ready to go check that out because there could be aliens about. Yeah, 
the building's a little screwed. Moving to position. Let's go have a look. Visual on the goods. Oh hey, five turns to get it. Hmm. Gazoo, gazoo, gazoo! Let's set up the sniper to have a good position to fire if necessary. Let's set up everybody. Might send Jablonski for the meld again. Might do that. Just kind of hope I don't hit contacts in some dumb, weird angle. Alright, five turns. So basically, four turns of movement. Sectoids are back there, which is, which is perfectly fine with me. You can physically hear them moving around. That's fine with me, too. The building's phasing in and out of solidity is a little on the disturbing side. Where's the... Okay, that's the rotate view button. I have no clue where the sectoids are going to come from. But we're all clustered on the corner to support you, rookie, so go ahead and have us a look. Alright, next turn he can get there safely. So honestly, I think everybody should just I should tell the assault to reload at some point. I definitely should. Before it's too late. He's yoink the meld. Yeah, I'm gonna get onto mech suits and stuff, don't worry. This is a decent sized map. Where's the... Oh, there's... Yeah, this map is quite big. We know the aliens are back that way, so we can go pick a fight there. Uh, or just continue sweeping this way. This thing is listed as hard, so there should be a couple patrol groups of them. Uh, yeah, we're going this way, so let's go ahead and get down there. I'll send the assault down, Boy. and then have her reload. Damn! Those augmentations will do your body good, I suppose. Yeah, it's cool to be on the roof, but... Okay. We're gonna be building clearing, so... God damn! Do the... Do the non-augmented soldiers do the exact same thing, or is it different? Now, see, the thing is, if I move them here, that's one tile farther than we've been. And you just know how it... Now, yeah, the regular soldiers do the same thing. So we, we just hire superhumans. We just forgot to put aiming as a criterion. May as well use up our movement points. Good to go. Right behind us. Oh, hey! Rookie goes for it, rookie misses cleanly. That's fine. They're gonna have their oh shit, the police moment. That wouldn't quite be a flank. The question is, do I feel comfortable taking the shot on the sniper from this? Bit of a risk if the other guy comes out. 